everyone it's me Jess here and welcome and welcome back to my channel in today's video I will be sharing with you how I make my vintage dress this is a slitted dress with button funds and side pocket in midi length this dress is quite a fitted dress at the top but flattering at the bottom of the dress that's why to me it's like a combination between a sexy and elegance so I really hope you guys will like it and check it out and let's get started here's the look of the dress that I want to make I divide it into two smaller parts the top part and the bottom part I started making the pattern for the dress first to make the baddest pattern, I draw a rectangle with 11cm width which is 1 by 8 my bust side plus 1cm and 26cm length which is the length from above my breast to 3cm above my belly button It's the length of the top baddest that I want From the top width line, I mark down on the length line 18cm which is the width from above to under my breast then drawing a line to connect two marks together. This line will be the underburst line of the top bodice. After that, I make another line in the middle between the first one and the top width line. This line will be the burst line of the top bodice. From one length line, I mark at 10 cm on the top width line. It's 1 by 8 my above bust side. On the first straight line, I mark at 9.5 cm, which is 1 by 8 my under bust side plus a half cm. On the bottom width line, I mark at 9cm, which is 1 by 8, 3cm above my belly side, plus 1cm. Then connecting these marks together, bay on it, I draw a slightly curved line. From the top of the land line, I mark down 7 cm, which is the position of the underambic line. Then connect this mark to the one on the top width line. Based on it, I draw a slightly curved line to finish the sleeve line of the front baddest pattern. From the mark on the bottom width line, I mark down 8 cm, which is 1 by 8, 3 cm above my belly side. Then connect this mark to the mask on the land line next to it to finish the side line of the top baddest pattern. After on, rechecking to make sure the width of these lines are correct. Add in 1cm for seam allowance after that. And here's the side pattern of the front baddest after cutting. To make the center pattern of the front baddest, I draw a straight line and a horizontal line cutting each other first. After that, I use the side pattern of the front baddest to copy it. From the end of the sleeve line, I mark out 3 cm. Then connect this mark to the other end of the sleeve line to create the neckline for the center pattern of the front bodice. I make this line a big curve to make it nicer. As the dress will have the button, I add 4.5 cm at one side of the pattern to create the button area. 4.5 cm is 1.5 times the width of the button area I want to make. And here's the center pattern of the front bodice after cutting. To make the back bodice pattern, I cut a rectangle with a 21cm length, which is the length of the side line of the front pattern, and 40cm width, which is the half of my bust side. I use the side pattern of the front bodice to copy the side line to the back bodice pattern first. Then I draw a straight line in the middle to divide the back bodice pattern into two equal parts. 
I keep making another straight line in the middle of its smaller part of the back bodice. At the end of this line, I mark two sides one centimeter. Then connect this mark to the end of the straight line to create a triangle there. It will be the dark at the back of the bodice. Doing the same for the other side. Make sure the final width at the end of the back bodice will be 34 cm, which is a half of my 3 cm above the belly button, plus 2 cm for seam allowance. And here's the back bodice pattern after cutting. To make the pocket pattern, I cut a rectangle with 20 cm width and 30 cm length. On one length line, I mark in the middle foot, then connect this mark to one end of the other length line by a curved line. And here's the pocket part and after cutting. Now let's start making this straight. I use two and a half meters of soft cotton fabric for this DIY. I make the top part of the dress foot. Here are two pieces of the front bodice pattern. I connect them together at the curved fly foot. After that, I make one more piece like this. Here's the back bodice pattern. I copy the dart from the pattern to the fabric foot. Then I finish them later. Now I'm connecting two pieces of the front bodice to the back bodice at the sides. Making one more set like this, then connect them together from the sleeve line to the neckline by the pins. To make the shoulder strap, I cut two rectangles with 4cm width, which is two times the width of the shoulder strap that I want, plus 1cm of a seam allowance, and 37cm length, which is the length of the shoulder strap from the front to the back of the top bodice. Blood 2 cm for seam allowance. I sew two lane lines of the rectangle together first, then I turn it up later. Use the iron to keep the seam after that. Now I add one end of the shoulder strap to the top of the neckline at the front bodice. And the other end to the top of the dark line of the back bodice. Make sure the shoulder strap will be in the middle between two pieces of the top bodice. Then sewing to connect them on together. However, keep 7 cm unsold at two sides of the neckline. 7 cm is two times the width of the button area, plus 1 cm for seam allowance. After sewing, I turn the top bodice to hide on the seaming side. Then I connect two pieces of the top bodice together at the ending line by overlocking. I cut the fabric at the end of the seam on the neckline to straighten the fabric there. After that, I fold the end of the neckline inside 1cm foot. Then I keep folding it to the end of the seam on the neckline and sewing.
after that, I turn it to hide on the seam inside. Doing the same for the other side of the neck. Moving to the bottom part of the dress, I cut a big rectangle with 85cm length, which is a length from 3cm above my belly button to over my knee, plus 2cm for seam allowance. It's the length of the dress that I want, and 92cm width, which is my hip size. This rectangle will be the back of the bottom part. From the top width line, I mark down 7cm on the length line. It will be the position for the pocket then adding the pocket there later, and sewing. To make the front of the bottom part, I cut a rectangle with 85cm length, which is the same length at the back bottom part and 46 cm width, which is a half of my bust side. From the top width line, I mark down 7 cm on the length line. It will be the position for the pocket, then add in the pocket there later, and sewing. Making two pieces for the front part of the bottom dress. Now, I'm connecting two pieces of the front to the back part of the bottom dress at two sides, and sewing. To make the deep for the pocket, I mark down 14 cm from the top of the pocket. It's the width of the open area of the pocket where you can put your hand in, then sew the rest together. At the top of the bottom dress, I make a loose seam first, then I create the gathering fabric there later. The final width of the gathering fabric will be the same at the end of the top bodice, so you can connect them together later. However, keep 7cm without gathering fabric at two sides of the front part of the bottom dress to make the button area there later. After connecting the top and the bottom of the dress together at the waist, I finish the button area by folding the end fabric inside 1cm first, then keep folding them in 3cm which is the width of the button area that I want. To finish the end of the dress, I fold the end fabric inside two times with 1cm each time, and sewing. The last step is adding the button and making the button hole. And I finished this DIY. Here's my final result. This is a super vintage dress. It's not only pretty but also elegant. 
I hope you will try to make one for yourself. See you next week.